Hi guys. Okay, um, it's pretty much completed. Um, I'll give you a rundown. So we've got um, the main power line coming in, the, the white cable, and that comes into the the, the double pole uh, breaker. Um, from there, we run off to the transformer. Now, the transformer, because we are in Thailand, we're running at um, 110. Uh, whereas this uh, controller actually came from the US, uh, Ratio. So it came with 100, and, uh, sorry, we're running at 240, um, but the controller is running at 210. So we needed to get uh, another transformer uh, to, to connect it in properly. So that was a problem we've had. We've, we've, we've found one and it works. So that's great. So the main line comes in and goes to a little plug for that. Um, and then a main line also goes into this little device here. Uh, that is a timer switch, which goes off to the pump. Now the pump that I've got is a manual pump. Uh, so it's not a stop start. So rather than leaving it running um, and blowing any pipes, we turn it off when it's not in use. Uh, so I've set up zones, um, all these blue lines here. They go off to the, the different sprinklers and when they come on, the pump switch timer, timer switch, sorry, turns it on and it'll turn the pump on and the sprinklers will be on at the same time as well. So that's what that is. Uh, we've also put in another fail safe, uh, which is this little switch here. Uh, it's a transfer switch, transfer bypass. So we can actually bypass the, the controller and connect it into the, the main pump. So we can also run the pump without turning on the sprinklers um, for when that needs to water manually. Okay, so we've got that. Um, we've got a little bus bar there because of all the lines. It was just easier and tidier to put it in there. And then we obviously run all the blue ones into the controller for the sprinklers. So uh, that's pretty much what we've done. Um, I've run a couple of tests, um, set up the, the zones to come on through the night. Uh, the, the switch, the timer switch has been set. So that will come on. Um, everything seems to be working pretty well. Time will tell. So uh, tonight will be the first one and that should start at about seven o'clock this evening. Uh, first, first sprinkler will run for 15 minutes and then turn off. Um, it'll be off for probably an hour and 15 minutes. Um, that'll give it time for the, the well pump to cool down, fill the tanks uh, back up to the full capacity of 4,000 litres. And uh, the next one, they should uh, come back on again about 8.30 in the evening. Um, and so they're all set, 10 zones. 15 minutes each and hour and 15 minutes rest time. Uh, I could probably cut it down, but initially uh, I want to try it out like that for tonight. Um, I'll probably pop around later on and make sure it is actually working how I want it to. But uh, I have run a, a couple of test runs already and it seems pretty good. So uh, most of the things, the cables are all tidied up. Uh, probably a little bit more to just dot about there um, and still tidy up these other bits of cables here um, and I still haven't unconnected the two valves and run the cable underneath the, the footpath yet uh, that will be for another day we haven't um, hooked in the uh, pressure switches yet I'll just walk you down there quickly and explain what we're doing um, now the, the pump is actually connected to that box I've just shown you. Um, 
we've got the, the pressure switch and the gauge all fitted it's just not wired in um, reason being is we're waiting for another little little um, cutout which will be put into the tank um, so when the water gets too low the it'll automatically stop the pump um, once it reaches a certain level it'll allow the pump to turn on subject to the controller and switches all turning the pump on but technically it should mean that there's power going to it if it's there uh, it's a fail safe because we are running off a well and we are using a lot of water uh, so if the well pump decides to pack in through the night or the well dries out uh, we won't burn out too many pumps um, because the um, the flow meter will, will stop the pump as well um, which is very very handy for what we're doing especially running through the night time so uh, that is the plan hopefully it will arrive in the next day or two um, it's not a big issue uh, if it arrives in the next day or two we'll get it fitted and then we'll play about with the pressure switch and see if we can actually get it to automatically cut a, the pump out without going stop start stop start um, if it becomes a little bit of an issue the other alternative is to put in a different pump um, it might even come to a different pump later down the line but in the first instance this one works so why change something um, but it might just make it a, bit, a little bit easier that we can leave it on um, with a proper pressure switch uh, building up pressure in the line because this one doesn't have any uh, pressure tank attached to it it's a, a simple one horsepower um, centrifugal pump that we've got in here it's ideally ideally what we put it in here for was to pump out of the river which as you guys can see now is totally dry uh, and this is rainy season or pretty much rainy season so that's the reason why we've had to adapt very very quickly um, or else all these plants will eventually perish and we don't want that so uh, tonight will be a, a live test and uh, we'll watch it I'll pop around and make sure it's working um, if not then have to adjust it to tomorrow or something but uh, fingers crossed we got it all connected in correctly and it's running well so uh, I'll let you know later I'll maybe do a short video and add it in as well and you can see so uh, anyway for now um, if you like the videos if you have any comments please leave them in the comments box below um, if you like the videos please share them um, give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe uh, can't ask for more than that. I've got to try and head up to uh, a thousand subscribers. Um, I think I'm probably nearing 400 mark shortly, and uh, it's all go from here. Uh, next stage is to show you a few things around the place and uh, see what we've done. So uh, keep us going, keep subscribing, keep liking, keep sharing. All right, thanks very much, guys. See ya.